once upon a time, Christina was giving a review with a rainbow in the sky, and then insert <laughs> awkward pause as he tiny little boat motor boat person goes by and Christina's waving and he's just like back to go see <laughs> welcome to haunting TV I'm Christina and today we are in Mystic Connecticut as you can see we are nice and patriotic with that flag and it's nice and sunny so we can wait to get outside um, the book that I'm going to be reviewing today is go see by Ferenc Mathi. Uh, you can notice that I pronounce that in a certain way, not with an English accent or American accent, because it is written by a Hungarian man. And since I am Hungarian and I saw this, I was like, ah, this is perfect. Why not read it? Actually, I had to read it. What am I trying to say? <laughs> I actually had to read this beforehand and then I didn't look at the author, silly me, and then I looked at it and then I got really excited and then I read it. This book, all right, so it starts off kind of slow, I want to say. Um, it has a lot of adventure in it all around. It has ghosts, dreamlike qualities, um, adventure, love, cannibals. So it's really fast paced. It's kind of like the Odyssey. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but a lot happens in it. The only issue that I had with this book was that um, the author, Ferenc Mate, actually wrote so much about the description of sailing and doing all kinds of crazy things. I don't know anything about sailing. I, I honestly don't know the front of a boat from the back of a boat. I could not drive any of these things. Um, but it was just a little bit too distracting. If you don't know anything about what it's like to sail or the parts of a boat, then it could get really distracting. I found myself skipping a few sections because of that. Otherwise, I really liked the main characters. Um, so it starts off with Catherine or Kate being kidnapped um, by natives who were from like the Northwest. They are Kwakiuti people. <laughs> I'm totally butchering that name, but they're cannibals and they kidnapped her because her husband had like a bunch of artifacts that belonged to them. So of course, Captain Duggar gets hired to save this woman. Only problem is the husband's there as well and he starts falling in love with Kate. So, but I mean, there's a lot of dreamlike things. There's, um, I don't know, whenever something goes wrong, all of a sudden something good happens and it saves them. There's a rainbow in the sky. And I am back. <laughs> um, so this book is also part of a series. Um, I actually looked up the author, Ferenc Mati, and apparently he has a ton of other books out. People seem to really like it. He gets really good reviews. Um, so long as you can put up with the colloquial language, it's actually a lot of fun. It's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean meets... a colloquial speaking author. <laughs> I don't know, but I liked it. Overall, I would give it four blood spattered stars. So if you're into sailing, you like high sea adventures, a little bit of, not erotic, but a little bit of a sizzle to your love story, then check it out. There's also cannibals and all kinds of stuff. And the captain actually really likes to drink. So yes, men who like to drink at sea tend to be fun. And that concludes my review of Go Sea by Ferenc Mate. And this is Christina, your lovely host who goes to crazy places with you know, people from haunting TV like Mystic Connecticut. Um, let us know what your favorite, you know, horror high seas book is. This is pretty good, so, but still, you know, let us know what yours is. And please subscribe, subscribe, and watch our other videos, please. You know you wanna see this craziness in action with boats moving behind me currently. I will see you next time, bye. Goodbye, boat. Big boat moving, small boat. I mean, small boat motive. <laughs> I just almost said the small boat is motorboating the big boat. Oh my gosh. That's okay.